Hey, in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Agui 60 watt folding solar panel. Hey, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit like and click that bell to be notified of new content. Let's get started. Hey, YouTube, Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Happy cold March here in Atlanta, Georgia. It is literally 32 degrees outside right now. So we're gonna make this uh, this video pretty brief, but actually I'm very excited today. This is my very first, I would call it sponsored video, where a GUI sent me um, a 60 watt folding solar panel and um, and asked me to give it a review. They saw what I did last summer with the uh, Watt Fun 500 watt power station. And I had, had mentioned that I was looking for a solar panel. So they sent one over. And so this is what we're gonna be doing today. So. First things first, this thing is awesome. It came in a box. I was going to do an unboxing, but but this is primarily uh, what it is. Um, we'll kind of walk through it, look at it, but let's talk about what I'm going to do with it. So as you've seen in my other videos, I do a lot of camping. Um, I use a power station that I hook to a refrigerator. We did a bunch of tests last summer where we showed it in a freezer format and in a fridge format, which is fridge is probably what I'd be using most, most primarily. Um, and we were able to get about two, two and a half days max out of it. Um, the fridge was drawn about 55 watts, if we see it right here, um, from our test last summer. When we had it hooked up, it was like 95 degrees. So I, I mean, that's kind of a worst case scenario for what we're doing camping in the south here. But um, I will tell you, this 60 watt uh, panel, if we can just get up to 50 watts during the day, um, I, I don't think I'll run out of battery at all. I think it will just level for all the use in the day, and then it will just consume at night. But during the day when this thing is producing power, um, is great. So this thing is, I will say, is very well built. I hadn't had one of these. It's super thin, as you can see, and it's foldable. If we look right here, we got great plastic, molded plastic handles. We've got some um, built-in holes here so that we can hang it up. And then uh, it's magnetic, so it comes up, folds just like so. And then inside of here is the actual um, solar panels themselves. I will say this is going to be what looks to be a very simple video, but there's so much advanced technology going in this solar panel that it is just crazy. Now, one thing I want everybody to note, uh, solar sometimes has this thought where it needs to be hot outside and sunny to work. We're outside, it's 32 degrees right now, and we're going to put this out. I got full sun, zero clouds a day. I did do a couple tests last week. Um, when it was cloudy outside, so you can kind of see what it looks like, how, how many watts comes in. But we're going to hook this up in a few minutes. But let's do a quick walkthrough of this. So this is the panel itself. It's on both sides. It did come with some plastic that was wrapped and it looked like everything was put together around the plastic. I talked to the company. They did tell me to pull it off. So I cut it off and got it all out there as pretty good as I could. Um, and on the back here, you know, this is relatively simple. It's got kickstands for when you want to put it up, and that's how we'll put it up when we're out outside and then it, it's got the power input uh, junction box here in the back a nice water resistant area here it's got your dc input uh cable or your dc output cable as well as your anderson with the split on the end and then a whole variety of different dc adapters that you can hook to your device i right now am going with the very largest one for our watt fund 500 watt which we're going to hook up here in a second and um and move move this along. Now it also comes in, if we look here, we've got our DC output, but then we also got a USB-C and two USBs that'll either go two or three. Um, USB-C is great. I have a Mac, the GoPro batteries are hooked into that. So a lot of USB-C applications and this thing can run in multiple. So you can be charging it and you can have multiple things coming off of it at the same time. Obviously they're all going to draw from this. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take this I'm gonna put it out in the sun. I've got my watt fun. It's sitting about 40 watt or 40 percent full right now, roughly somewhere in there. It is about 11 o'clock in the morning here in Georgia, and it is freezing. So um, we're gonna put it out in the sun, get it going. We're just gonna let it charge all day and let it do its thing, and then we'll come back at the end of the day and just kind of do a review uh, wrap up. Now, hey, with, with that said, this is about a hundred bucks on on Amazon, and it looks to be well worth it. Let's go through the tests, and then we'll give a final review after that. Let's go and get started. All right, YouTube, it is a crazy sunny day, even though it is absolutely freezing outside. So let's take a look around. Look up at the sky, got a clear day, got our sun up there. Um, and on the bottom here, we've got our 60 watt Agua, 60, uh, or again, 60 watt folding uh, solar panel here. It's pretty simple. We got it in the sun, hitting directly. You can see it's coming down right at an angle. Um, in the back, 
we've got our DC input cable hooked here to the power box. Um, I just got this hanging open. We got our kickstands, what looks to be at an optimal setting for this. And then I've got this hooked into the back input of my uh, power station. So from, uh, from Watt Fun. So if I just come here and just click on the power, you can see we're running about 50 inputs on the watch right now, which is fabulous actually, um, because I'm running about, if we look up in the corner here, when we had the refrigerator hooked up, we're running about 50, 55, somewhere in there. So this could actually be a net neutral, um, which would be fabulous. I mean, if I can go net neutral on this and during the day, as much as coming out as is going in and it's not using any battery, that is fabulous. I can use that for other stuff at the campsite. So let's go ahead and let this test all day. Let it do its thing. And then we'll come back in in a little bit and take see see where we're at. All right, I want to make sure that I give a proper test. We're going to be showing a bunch of sun and stuff, but you know what? It's a cloudy day. If we come out and look, it's overcast. It's supposed to drop down to 30 tomorrow. We got a bunch of stuff coming in, and it's you know it's just not a lot. So I've got the solar panel set up and it's nice and clean, um, and I got it hooked into our Watt Fun battery pack. And you know what this thing is producing? It's, you'll see when uh, we do the other ones, we're gonna be in the high 40s, or early 50 watts. Uh, we're doing about five watts here. So it is coming in, it's just not, you know, it's just not a lot, but that has nothing to do with this panel. That just happens to do with solar technology. When you got cloudy day, the sun can't get through, but there's enough coming through to power it a little bit. So, all right, so that's, yeah, I guess we're getting up to seven here now as it's peeking through a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, there we go, eight. Um, as the sun's coming out, just a little bit more is peeking through. We're getting up to 13. You kind of see here, it's, it's trying. It's trying to get through right there. Anyway, uh, we're gonna flip over to another day uh, where we actually had full sun, and we can see what this looks like going full, full bore. Okay, I was actually going to do some sound effects and show a, a you know a, a time lapse but i'll be honest with you there's no clouds in the sky there's nothing going by the sun is kind of moving slowly so we're just going to clip this and get straight to it thanks all right youtube our tests are over for the day um you can see here we got this beautiful 60 watt foldable panel from a key um i bet i i that I, they sent me from to give it a go again just looking at it, it's got the magnets inside so that you can fold it up very simply. I had it sitting out in the yard for about five hours today. Um, if we look at our power where we're at, we are at 80%. So we put in at least 40 to 50% of new stored power in this uh, power bank. And if you think about what I was talking about before, we uh, when I'm, I've got the refrigerator hooked to this and it's consuming about 50, this would have a absolutely uh, sustain that throughout the day and it would have reduced and potentially would have added more to it I'm going to take this out on a trip uh, soon. I am really looking forward I can't say enough about this as simple as this is and to hook up and the pieces and if we look again at the back where we've got our Connection we got USB-C and then two USB ports. That is really it So all of this technology built into this nice little simple package I am uh, I am very excited and it's super light right around five pounds. Um, so this is gonna become a very big part of my overlanding experience moving forward. Um, so I would like to thank everyone over at Aki for sending, or Agui, for sending this over to me for trial. And if hey, I'll put some links down at the bottom for the link on Amazon. But uh, hey, they make other great products, power stations, uh, 120 watt panels. So give them a check out. Again, thanks a lot to Agui for sending this over. Everybody have a great day. Hey, remember, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like and click that bell to be notified of new content. Thanks again for everybody's time and have a great day.